In my Surecart course, I have an entire lesson on creating a custom Surecart dashboard. And the dashboard that I like to use is the tab dashboard. Here you can see it actually on my membership site where the user can have multiple tabs here on the left-hand side of the dashboard area. They can check out their downloads. They can update their account details. You can add custom tabs for getting things like support uh, and so on. And it's really nice because then you can drop this tabbed dashboard inside of another page template. Like in this example, I've built a custom dashboard page template. I have a whole video on the channel if you're interested in the way that this looks. But that said, Surecart has recently done away with this tabbed dashboard. Historically, you would go to your dashboard page and you would select the default template here on the right hand side rather than choosing the Surecart or the Surecart customer dashboard that actually launches an entirely like isolated dashboard experience. But to achieve what I showed you, you would choose the default template. Then you would go here into the upper left hand corner, click on the toggle block inserter. You would scroll down to the Surecart or search for the Surecart section and there would be a block called the tabbed dashboard. Well, that's gone. As you can see here, that's completely missing. And I spoke with Adam at Surecart and he said it was confusing users on how to use it. I totally understand. In my course, I have actually three separate videos on how to use the tab dashboard because they've been making so many changes, uh, mostly with the, the template that you choose here on the right hand side. But if you want to still use that tab dashboard, here's how you bring it back. You are going to need a PHP code inserter plugin. You can use WP code or code snippets. I actually prefer code snippets because they have the option just to insert it into the, uh, or the PHP insert it into the admin area. So search for snippet, get code snippets, install it, activate it, or choose your inserter of choice. I'm going to show you how to do this in snippets, but I'm sure you can kind of follow along in whatever tool you're using. Uh, so in snippets in the upper left, we just click add new and then we paste in the PHP. I will include this PHP down below and you can just copy that and insert it just like I'm inserting it now. Let's give this a name. I'm just going to call this the Surecart tabbed dashboard block. And what this PHP code is doing, if you're curious, it's literally the tabbed dashboard block is still there in the back end. This is literally just adding it back for us to use. Simple as that. Honestly, I wish they never got rid of it because I really like it. So one thing, and this is why I chose the snippet PHP inserter here, it's because you can choose to only run this PHP uh, function in the administration area, which is the only place we really need it. So with that selected, go ahead and click save changes. Next, we just need to make sure that we've toggled on our function that we just added. And let's go back to our Surecart dashboard page. Let's go ahead and click the toggle block inserter again, scroll down to the Surecart area. And sure enough, look at that. There is the tabbed customer dashboard. I can click on it. I can add it back to my site. I can delete all these other pieces that they gave us by default like this. I can just choose to delete. Let's delete this one. And now I just have my tabbed dashboard back and I can use it like normal. So if you're curious and wonder where the heck that block went, that's how you do it. That's how you build the tabbed customer dashboard in Surecart. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below.